I'm Landon Durant. I own the 1973 white Freightliner CF cab over. It was originally restored by the late Danny Shimzu of West Valley, Utah. He found the cab over behind a building somewhere in Salt Lake, realized what it was, and it's the it's late enough, it's the last year of the green cab, so it was a little bit more special to him. Uh, so he restored it completely, went through it. He rebuilt the 290 Cummins that's currently still in the truck. It has a six-speed direct Spicer transmission, 433 gear ratio, 24.5 tall rubber. It'll run 60 miles an hour downhill with a tailwind, if you're lucky. Besides that, it's about bone stock. It has two gauges, or excuse me, three gauges. It has a, a water temp, an air gauge, and a speedometer. It has a warning light for hot water and low oil, and that's it. <clears throat> it has a, a 216 inch wheelbase, spring suspension. I just take it to shows anymore. It's a trailer queen. I used to drive it, but then I realized that su spring suspension and spines don't go very well together. <laughs> but, but besides that, I absolutely love it because Consolidated Freightways was started in Salt Lake City. I'm actually from Utah, as mentioned first Freightliner was built in Ogden so just for my my growing up history background of where I'm from the truck pretty much started right in my backyard uh, I bought the truck but you're not nearly old enough no to remember. not How old are you I'm 30 oh my so I was still cute and adorable when these guys closed <laughs> okay so the mirror on the driver's side it's slanted and goes down more a lot of people always told me that they did that so when you're backing into a covered dock you could look up and see if the trailer was going to hit the top of it which I've, I've tried it a couple times and it's kind of a, I've proved it to be false because you can't even see the top of your trailer with that angle. But when you're looking down at it, sitting in the cab, it's actually more as designed for the blind spots. If you could look at it in person or in the video, it, it doesn't make any sense. But when you're sitting up in the cab and looking down, it's actually pretty amazing at how much more clear you can see behind you and all the way to the back. I actually have a set of doubles that I've taken with this truck on there and pulling the doubles with this versus pulling it with one of my other trucks, it's night and day difference of what you can see and what you cannot see.